demons quiet, yeah, we were built to thrive, yeah. Yeah, it was the first meeting, Icebreaker, as you well know, because you was there filming last time. And, uh, yeah, busy day. Busy day, I had a few gremlins with the cars, you'd have seen from the videos before, but got through it in the end. And uh, just a shame we couldn't get it running in the end, but at least, at least the track driver was there to give me a push round, because... That's, that's nice of them when they do that, so that's all I do, you see, just for just for the glory of it, but no, nah, it was alright, yeah, decent mean, broke everything, everything brand new, broke most of it, but it's part and parcel of it, nothing like, nothing, in it, nothing stays good forever, but that sun's bright, cars, oh, I'll get the phone, I'm sure I wrote it down, oh well, <coughs> oh, I'm too fat for that, 14 cars, I think it works out at, 12 Jags, two Mondeos. Well, one was a Jag, but it was it's basically a Mondeo. So it's nice to see, nice to be in something other than a Jag. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's it's not till you sit and write it down what you've actually done, then you realise how many cars you've been through. Because you know when you're just down here, you just they come in, they go, they come in, they go. I mean, I've done a fair bit there, but well, it's probably not a lot to some people. But I, I, I'm not really about as much as I should be. No, not as as I, as I used to be as such. And the same as this year, it's picking up real bad, but get as many done as we can. Got them so they're fairly easy to build now, just throw in the kit. That's what they all say, I know, but it is definitely the case here. And yeah, yeah, done done a couple of different tracks this year that I've never done before. And tracks that I wanted to do in a unlimited and never got round to do it, but got through it's like Hennisford Unlimited, that was great. In a manual jag it was going, but once we get that, once we get that dialed in, because after that I sort of I took that's the same car I took back to Supreme, and then just had Gremlins with the running of it. But over the winter I spent a bit of time to get it running properly now. As like you say in that video as well, we just had running Gremlins. So I spent the rest of the year on the failsafe two three, and they've sort of seen me well, good engines, and uh, yeah, only blew two up I think, so not too bad. But they're only standard ones, so I just throw it away. Chuck them in the skip. Happy days. And yeah. Plenty of pop tyres, plenty of pop tubes, plenty of buckled wheels. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night, yeah? Make all the demons quiet, yeah? We were built to thrive, yeah? Some you come away from and you're like, oh, that was really good. Some you come, I've come away from and gone, oh, that weren't really great. But then it was still a good day. I suppose it depends what your expectations are like. Oh, sometimes I don't, I don't go thinking anything. But like we went to Stan Lake in the car that's from all the shocks. We wanted to have a fresh one every meeting just to make sure. And um, that was still good. So ended up going there on a, that's on next week, let's go. I, I had a great day. I love that place. I've done it in a Mondeo before, but I really wanted to do it in Unlimited. So went there, just smashed everything up all day, and then broke everything in the DD with head on with a yank. But 
It's one of them things, you've got to break it at some stage. It tests the stuff out, to all the new stuff was good. Just uh, snapped everything else in half. But engine box was all right, apart from it blew second out, so it, did, it lost the oil, but that was, yeah. It's one of them things. You come away with a good bit of prize money, but you spent it all in damage when you got there. Went after the meeting, sorry. And uh, at least we got to go to TGI's on the way home, treat, treat the boys with the money. I suppose the only thing I really raced different this year was the uh, Jag limo. I mean, I think we was talking, me and my talk about that. We went 2017 to pick that up and there was probably only been two raced at the time. And then sort of like had a bit of storage issues. So it went somewhere else, went somewhere else, went, and just never got around to it. And I thought, right, now's the time to get one. Managed to find uh, Kieran one as well, so we could both have one at the same time. And it's the perfect meeting for it because there's no, there's no, I don't think there's any real big meetings like your firecrackers and stuff like that to take cars anymore. Everything's gone into pre 90, pre 85, or just the dribble. Do you know what I mean? I just, it just rules them sort of cars out because you can't really be fully competitive in that. But that actually surprised me because it was still, it was still quick and it handled well. Yeah, that yeah, was good. Yeah, it was a good car. It was a good car. Yeah, so, um, yeah, well, final, we, I don't know, we sort of, I said I wanted to do the sort of BWS rounds this year as a bit of a change, and uh, so decided that's all what I'm doing, um, done them for, you know, weren't going to go for it, not such, and you know, we say not going to go for it, but the plan was to just see what happens, so got, got the right amount of cars in for it, went for it, um, yeah, just building fresh ones and ended up qualifying, so which is happy days, you know, especially from like what I hear for this year, everyone's going out and buying all these fancy cars, rare cars, doing everything like that. I mean, no, oh, I'm not, oh, I'm not doing that. I mean, the, 
they're enough work. Cars are enough work as it is without having to chuck like axles on and everything. So, you know, I'll just chuck my stuff in this and let's go. But um, yeah, got fourth in it overall. Probably like sort of slowed down a bit towards the end. And uh, a couple of the meetings, you just spent around chasing people, but they, you know, it just don't work. So you come away and you're not, you're not involved with the other action because you're concerned about that. Not concerned, but you know, you're more interested in doing that. But yeah, so I managed to get there, um, qualified, got my spot on the grid. Uh, Joby done a good job on the car. It was one of the smart ones, nice and clean. I don't like cars that are absolutely ram with stuff. You can overkill a car in my book, and that was just just so sort of just nice enough. You no, know, a bit a bit of colour. Car, the, the colours are bright enough as it is. It don't need overkill. So yeah, made a, made a real nice job of it to be fair. And uh, started mid pack, I think. Got wound out straight away. Got going again. I think it was going all right. I think the greasy conditions helped the the big fat jag. And uh, yeah, it, it was going all right, but. And uh, obviously, congratu uh, congratulations to Steve O for winning it as well. He was absolutely flying. It was quite funny at Ipswich when we was lined up. There was a couple of people in the crowd giving me a load of grief. And uh, yeah, but that's part and parcel. Everyone's doing different strokes, and you know, I do what I do. Other people do what they do. If you don't want to get hit, don't race bangers. You know, I mean, I know everyone has a, everyone has their own little bit to put in on Facebook and that, but just. It is what it is, it's a full contact sport and we're allowed to do what we're allowed to do. So don't get waspy about it. Just get on with it and uh, try and keep try and keep it on track and do it. It's all good fun. And plus you'll never upset me. Whatever you say won't upset me. Well, my own nickname's even cock. You can't you can't say anything that'll fucking offend me. Yeah, one thing uh, people have mentioned many times about me losing the steering wheel, keep falling off while I'm racing. But fortunately, I have found a solution for that now. So no more of that, and no more trying to grab hold of it and drive around like like that, like I'm uh, I'm on a karaoke machine and giving it my best. But um, yeah, that's such a horrible feeling. Just literally, just a bang. It's just apparently it's a common thing for a series three column to do without some bit of. But I have found something that I can do with it. And uh, yeah, so we won't be having none of that this year, thankfully. And uh, yeah, all, my co all the steering columns that I've got have been changed, so they're not going to fall off and fly out the window or fly out. And I'm sort of stranded and trying to bounce off the wall to get somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, massive help everyone that helped me last year. Just always, it's always appreciated, no, no matter what it is. Um, but uh, mainly, look. Like, Mark for taking me everywhere because I sort of I uh, I laurelist this year. Well, for yeah, for yeah, pretty much the start of this year. So he's been taking me. He was taking me everywhere and sorting transport out for me while I've been building one. Uh, in the sort of uh, time when we're not been building cars, and uh, yeah, Sonny Sonny in the shed, great help. The only problem is now he wants to start racing a bit more himself. So he's been a bit selfish and taking over the shed and not helping me do my cars and doing his own, but. Nah, he's alright. Nah, it's, uh, it, it was a mega help last year, same as uh, same with Jack as well. <laughs> Anyone that comes down, picks a spanner up and does a bit up, no matter what it is, you know, they sort of... It does help, because it is a lot of work to be doing on your own. You have got to live it, and you just... There's nothing else you can do. I mean, I don't know. These people that race every... Yeah, I suppose they've got the same car, but if you, to build that sort of amount of cars in a year... And the turnaround we had, I mean, we had three days to build a Jag from one meeting to to do a meeting at Lynn and it was still done. Everyone piled in, I said, oh, I want to do it. Everyone would come down, I said, I'm, you know, just as a passing comment, I think I'm going to do that. They all jumped in, they come down, we got it together and we was there. It's just, it's, that's, that's, that's the biggest help. You need a good crowd around you and I'm very lucky in the fact that I've got a very good crowd around me that will do anything and help for me. And I'm, it's reciprocated. When Kieran started racing as well, uh, mate Will, he, he sort of come in clutch with transport as well and uh, yeah it took us to a lot of meetings so cheers, cheers Will for that, really appreciate it. There'll be a seat in the new one for you whenever we want to go away next time. Thank you. Yeah, no, no set out plans to be fair. Um, my main thing like 
I, want, I, w I just want to do a couple of different tracks, try and just do a, tracks I've not done before. I think when I counted up my list the other day, it was on 21 or something like that, which is probably a lot to some people. Um, but I really want to get a few more in. There's a few that I've uh, looking through the fixture list and ticked off. Um, I'm fortunate as well that I've been asked to do uh, Emin in July with the three litre team, so I'll be there for that. Um, so that should be good. Um, yeah, just, I don't really know to be fair. I'm gonna say just tick off a couple of tracks. I don't know what, I'd like to do, like use all the Mondeos that I've got or just thinking about just building it and selling it as a package and just focus on Jags, but I don't really know. I've got a couple of cool cars actually. I might build one of them. Build, build, probably do one a year, just get get through them because they're a lot of work and what you can't do it in between doing stuff like this. But once the lorry's done, I can I could probably spend a couple of days because I can do these in about two days on my own, but two three days, so they go together quite well. Yeah, just go smash some cars up. That's about it. Smash them up, strip them out, build another one. Rinse and repeat. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic, blow the sonic roof up. I'm too honest when I take a few shots. They're too toxic, need to take a new song. And you cannot save me, cause I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing, all here for the taking. Don't wanna test your luck with me, I think I've had enough disease. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half guns You are not as tough as me Tough. Don't want to